Hello guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be bringing you behind the scenes. I've really been enjoying these videos recently just because I can walk you through step by step what I do to achieve something. So I shared a video about how I edit my YouTube videos and I'm going to talk a little bit about that in this video, but really go check out that video. I will actually include it right here for you guys, but that's one of the tips I want to share with you is how I make that happen when I say a video is going to appear here, how that actually works as well as like end screens, music, your description, all of that stuff. So we're really going to be taking a look at the YouTube creator studio and going over some things that I think you need to know, especially as a beginner YouTuber. So if you're just getting started on YouTube and you don't know any of the fancy features, I'm going to walk you through the ones that I use on every single one of my videos. And if you're a bit more advanced within YouTube, maybe you don't know like where to place your ads or how to place your ads within your videos. I'm also going to be sharing that within this video. So I just finished editing the video that should have gone live before this video. And I need to do all those finishing touches like I was talking about. So I'm just going to walk you through my exact process on on how I do these things. The yeah, first thing I want to talk about is the music that I include within my YouTube videos. I know that there are websites out there where you can find music that is okay. It's not going to get copyrighted if you include it within your videos, but I just like using the YouTube creator studio. They've got a lot of songs on there and you know, no matter what, you're not going to be copyrighted if you're using the music that YouTube gives you. So I want to share with you exactly how you can find that and pick the music that you're going to include within your YouTube videos. If you are within the new YouTube creator studio, you can hover over this other feature features. And right down here, there's something that says audio library. Now this is going to end up jumping you back to the old creator studio. And you'll notice in this video, I'm going to jump between both just because some of the features are not available within the new version yet. So this right here is the music library that is available for you. And you've got free music compared to sound effects right up top here. And what I like to do, I'll go through all these ones that say new, I will listen to all of them or I'll pick like, I'm not going to include cinematic and dark within my YouTube videos, but I'll pick like, hip hop and rap happy and I'll listen to that. And then if I end up actually liking that song, I will download it to my computer and I actually have a file that just contains a lot of different songs that I have downloaded from the YouTube creator studio right here. And then whatever one fits the vibe for the video, I'll include that within my video. But I do think having a certain song that you play at the beginning or the end of every single one of your YouTube videos really helps with your branding as well as setting the mood for your audience. So if you guys follow any creators where they have the exact same music at the beginning of all of their videos, it's kind of getting you in the mood, getting you ready to watch their content, but this is how I find my music. So if you guys have ever wondered that it's all just within the YouTube creator studio. Now I'm going to go back here and we're actually going to be editing this video that I just uploaded, which is how to be unique and stand out on YouTube. And one of the first things that I like to do, I like to set my end screen as well as the cards. Now, again, your end screen and your cards are not available within this version of the YouTube creator studio. You have to jump back to the old version. So right over here on the side cards are when I say that something's going to pop up here. That is what a card is and you can actually add five of them within your YouTube video compared to the end screen. That's your last couple of seconds. I think it's like your last 20 seconds you can select it up to. I'm not really sure the length, but that's the last part of your YouTube video where you can include other videos or your subscription button so people can subscribe to your channel or go to your channel. What I'm going to actually do instead of clicking on these individually here, I'm going to go back to the classic creator studio just because it's a little bit easier to navigate in my opinion that I don't have to keep jumping back and forth. That's just a pain in the butt. If you guys pay attention, if you guys watch my videos the whole way through, then you you probably know what my end screen is. It's just 10 seconds of a black screen. And then I add videos and a subscription button that is available using this end screen tab, which I am going to show you. But if you want to do something a little bit cuter for your end screen, you can design a graphic that says subscribe with an arrow pointing to your subscribe button, as well as like watch more. And then your next video that you want to recommend to your audience. But what I just do, I just do 10 seconds of a black screen. And then I use this same exact template every single time at the end of my video. So what I actually do, I click on this import from video button and I'm going to select one of these. And what's going to happen is it's going to bring in the exact same end screen that I included within the last video. And then what happens is that since it's always the last 10 seconds of my video, it's going to start at the appropriate time and it's going to bring in two relevant videos, my subscription button, as well as my most recent video. So the thing that I have to change within my end screen right here, I'm going to click on this little icon and I have to decide what are two other relevant videos that I think someone would enjoy watching if they've watched this video. So this one is talking about how to be different and stand out on YouTube. So I think I'm going to do camera confidence. That's a good one to include. And then increase your watch time actually isn't a bad one. Okay, so we're just going to leave that as increase your watch time. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this preview right here. And you're going to see how this flows just so you guys can know how this would look at the end of your YouTube videos as well. Is it this light or what is going on?
And that's it. So it's just the last 10 seconds of my video that includes those extra things there. It gives you three videos to watch as well as a button to subscribe to my channel. Now, if you've never done this before, what you can do, you can click on use template right up here and they give you templates of what you could possibly use within your YouTube video. For mine, I actually designed it on my own. So you can select one of these and then move things around if you want to do that. And it's actually really easy to do. If you click on this edit element, you can delete it if you want to, and you can add a new element up here, but you only have four elements that you can add. That is your end screen. So my end screen is set. I'm just going to click save and that is it for that one feature within this YouTube video. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add the cards, which again, when I say a YouTube video is going to appear right here, that is what pops up here. Now, I don't say that in every single one of my YouTube videos, but I do try to mention my videos in my videos. That sounds really weird. Just so I can get people to actually binge watch my content. So if they're watching one of the videos and they're like, hmm, I wanna learn more information about that and I actually have a video on it, it's a lot easier if I just say, if you wanna learn more information, go here instead of having them search on YouTube and then watch someone else's video. So I really hope that makes sense. But in this video in particular, I know that I didn't actually do this at all in the video. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add a couple of cards that I think kind of enhance the content or some videos that I think people would actually like to watch. So again, right up top here, I'm gonna click on this cards. But what I'm going to do, I like to space them out throughout my YouTube video. And like I said, you've got five cards that you can include. I try to include four cards within every single one of my videos. So we already clicked right here, which is around the two minute, 30 seconds mark. I think that's a good spot for my first card. And I'm just going to click add card. We're going to do a video or a playlist. I'm going to click create. And then I get to decide what video I want to include. So I think for this video, but I may just do my most recent video. I'm just going to click create and that's it. Now, one cool thing within your cards, let me actually add another one. If I do how to be confident on camera, right down here, you can click this drop down option and you can actually create a teaser text. So usually when something pops up here, it will say suggested video and then it will go off the title of the video. But if you want it to say something different, like watch my latest video or something, you can actually change that within this teaser text right here. So I'm just gonna select a couple of videos that I think I want added to this video and then we'll move to the next thing that I have to do. Now that my cards are added, I'm actually gonna jump back to the new YouTube Creator Studio just because everything else I can do within the new version. And I would rather you guys learn on the new version compared to the old version. So there's a couple of things that I still have left to do for this video. I need to add a custom thumbnail. I haven't actually designed it yet. So I'm not going to show you guys that just because I've shared that in other videos in the past. So if you're curious about how to design a thumbnail, I will include videos in the description bar down below that you can check out. But I also need to add this video to playlists. I need to add the ads and just do like a couple of other little details. So what I'm going to do this playlist option right here, I'm going to click on that. And the playlist that relate to this video, this is definitely tips for new YouTubers. It's not making money on YouTube. This one is not editing tips, but it is also where's all YouTube tips. Okay, so I'm just gonna select those two options and I'm gonna click done. And now those two playlists are added. So once this video is live, it will be added to those two playlists within my YouTube channel. If I was going to upload my thumbnail right now, all I would do is click this upload thumbnail button and I would add my thumbnail. It's very, very easy to add a thumbnail. This is actually a new option within YouTube that you have to do. So either you can set it within your settings so every single one of your YouTube videos is the exact same or you can do it for every video. Honestly, I recommend just doing it within your settings because then it is done for you. But you need to make sure that this is selected appropriately. Otherwise, I wanna talk about the description because I get a couple of questions about how I add links within my description and I just have a few tips for you guys here. So you may notice this is my description right here. This information is added to every single one of my YouTube videos. So I've got a spot where I've got my blog, my Instagram. Of course, I wanna have those links there so I can help to establish my brand. And if you guys wanna follow me on other platforms, I obviously want to encourage that. I also have all of my shop information. So if you guys wanna buy something from me, I include that here. And then I also have all my camera gear used because I get a lot of questions about what camera I'm using, what lights I'm using, all of that stuff. So I include that right here as well, as well as like a disclaimer for affiliate links. But this is automatically uploaded to every single one of my videos. And if you are curious about how to do this, you can go within your settings right down here under upload defaults. You can actually do that right here. You just add whatever text you want to be added to every single one of your YouTube videos. And then whenever you upload a video that is automatically going to be added. But for all of my videos, you guys notice that I like to include other relevant videos or if there's something that I mentioned in the video I'm going to include that in the description bar down below as well so one thing you want to make sure when you are including links within your description bar is that it is a full link so if I just said Instagram and then I had the content bug let's change that the content bug that's obviously not a link to Instagram I need 
need to make sure that it is actually a full link and then it's going to appear as a hyperlink within the video. So then someone can just click on it and go directly to my Instagram account. And that is the exact same thing with the videos that I want to include within the description bar. So for this video in particular, I'm going to do a section that says, actually, I don't even know if I mentioned any videos in this video. So I think I'm just going to do other videos you may like. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to click save. I'm going to go back to my most recent video. I'm going to see what videos I included in the description bar and see if any of these are good videos to also include within this video. And then if there are other ones that I want to add, I'll find those. So I'm actually going to find the ones that I want to include within this video and come up with the list here for you guys. So I filled out my tags. I wrote my description. I'm really, really happy with all of the other stuff that I have done to this video. The last few things I have to do, I still have to edit the thumbnail but I'm not going to include that in this video. I have to decide where my ads are going to be placed within this video and then just schedule it to go live. So I'm gonna show you how exactly you can place your ads within your YouTube videos and how you can schedule it to go live, which is also very simple to do. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this monetization tab over here on the left-hand side. Now this is where you get to select for this specific video if you want an ad before it, if you want it during, if you want it after. You can also decide what types of ads you want included on this video. So I'm gonna click after the video and then I'm gonna do overlay ads for this video as well and I'm just gonna click save and then what you have to do if you want ads during your video it says by default we will optimize ad breaks for natural graphs within the video now I noticed or I have heard from other creators actually that if you just let YouTube do it for you sometimes they will put a ton of ads in your YouTube videos that's happened to people in the past or they will only include one ad within your video now since this video is only 11 minutes long I'm actually only gonna include one ad in the middle of the video somewhere around the four or five minute mark and then there's gonna be one at the beginning and one at the end so technically there's three ads for this video and I'm happy with that I'm going to click on this editor option over here on the left hand side and we're gonna decide where we want this ad added so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna click on add ad break and I'm gonna move this little thing around so this is actually the ad that is going to be included within this video and I think I'm gonna try to do it somewhere in here so I'm gonna watch until I find a natural break within my talking and that's when I'm gonna try to place the ad to make sure it flows within the video and it seems to actually fit like it's there on purpose okay so that is the perfect spot there I am switching from my living room into my office and I'm gonna try to include this break where it fits perfectly and then all I'm going to do I'm gonna click this save button right up top here and that's going to save my ad break now I only added one ad break for this video so if you want multiple breaks what you can do if you click on this expand down arrow right here you can click on add ad break so you just want to place this wherever you want it click on add ad break and then it will appear right in that spot or again you can always move it around to wherever you want it within the video but for this specific video I just want one ad and I've actually gotten a question before saying how can you add a five second ad in the middle of your videos you actually can't decide what ads are going to get placed so you can't decide if it's going to be an overlay if it's going to be a skippable one a non-skippable one well you can in the monetization setting that I just showed you like you can pick what type of ads you want included on your videos but you can't specifically say oh I want an overlay ad here that's not how it works YouTube does that for you and then the last thing we're going to do we're going to click on this details option I am going to go to this visibility where it says private right now I'm gonna click on schedule and this is actually going live tomorrow on the 20th I have all of my YouTube videos go live at 11 a.m. so I'm gonna select 11 a.m. I'm not going to select it going live as premiere I just wanted to go live as a normal YouTube video I'm going to click done and I'm gonna click save and that is it for my YouTube video the last thing I have to do is I obviously have to upload a thumbnail but I can always do that even after the video is scheduled I can save it and everything is going to be good to go so that is it with this YouTube video I'm really hoping you guys liked it and found it helpful. If you did, make sure you get a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. I know that there are several of you that are a bit more advanced on YouTube. You probably already knew how to do all these things. And if you still watch this video through, thank you so much. But I tend to get a decent amount of comments from people saying that they're just now starting their YouTube channel. So I wanted to share some basics with you guys, some things that I honestly do every single time that I upload a YouTube video and things that I think you guys need to know how to do. So I'm really hoping you guys liked it. If you did, again, make sure you give it a thumbs up. But I'll see you guys back here in three days with another new video. Bye guys. Oh, that was not <laughs> meant to be recording. Okay, let's try that again. If I was going to upload my thumb look, wait, did I say music videos? Okay, I don't know what I'm saying here. I can't talk. So we got it. Okay. I hated that. I'm losing my mind.